Hello friends and welcome back to another showdown special with myself tonight. So we are going to be trying out this Ultra Necrozma and Xerneas team. Uh, I've just put it together because it's something I wanted to try and it was mainly the Lipod and the Duskman together because it's been picking up a bit of popularity on the ladder lately. I'm sorry I don't know who kind of created this pairing but um, it, it, it is really interesting, you're seeing the Unburden ability on the Lipod, not the Prankster and uh, the Duskman here. Uh, normally running something like uh, Power Gem, Dark Pulse and Photon Geyser, but I've kind of opted just to start out with uh, when I'm playing around with this team with Earth Power and Steel Strike. So, um, Although we've got the Amoongus to deal with a pausing Xerneas, I do like just having the Sun Steel Strike as an option there anyway. Uh, alongside the Lipod, which kind of complements the Xerneas as well. So uh, the team is always down in the description if you want to try it out, test it out, and uh, we'll just hop into it and play some games. So uh, at the minute, uh, this week on the channel, we're playing dual primals. It's a lot of fun. So um, one of the things I want to do in the, the last stages of this Ultra series before we move to Sword and Shield is test out as many archetypes as possible. So uh, we may end up bringing a, a more refined variant of this team onto the channel, but we'll see. Uh, if you'd like to see a refined version, obviously we'll probably play a few episodes of Showdown with it first. Uh, do let me know down in the comment section uh, and we'll make it happen. So we've got Ho-Oh and Xerneas uh, for my opponent. Uh, Kangaskhan, Incineroar, Spawncast, Tornadus and Cortana. So, hmm. Let's see, we'll go Lipard, we'll go Xerneas. The Ho-Oh is going to be a bit awkward for us to deal with, for sure. Um, I think I want Ultra Necrozma and probably Silence. Uh, okay, well we we outspeed the Kangaskhan. Whether it's in a focus or not, who knows? Um, a good fake out the Xerneas switch into Necrozma. It's a nice option there for us, and we'll keep the Geomancy for later on in this match. Um, You've got to imagine there's the Ho or in the back and probably the Incineroar as well. My opponent's maybe concentrating a little bit more around getting the Xerneas boosted up, supporting it with the, the dual fake out that they've got access to. Um, although Cortana does well against our team, to be honest. Uh, if we can kind of remove the Salamence, uh, it becomes a lot easier. There's a fake out into the Zern. Uh, fake out, yeah, just trading. Uh, but the Xerneas is. Uh, is really quite pressured right now um, from uh, Necrozma. So, and imagine one of the things we could potentially do is fake tears into the Kangaskhan and go for a Photon Geyser uh, into that slot, um, which I'm kind of tempted to do, honestly. I honestly think there's only to either protect or switch out. I don't think, yeah, there we go. Switch out into Incineroar. Let's see what this fake tears does. Okay, double edge. It will take down a Lipod, which is a little bit unfortunate for us. Uh, but this should take down the Kangaskhan. Uh, which I don't know if the, that trade is really the trade we want to be making, to be honest. Uh, the thing now is we can go for a... We can go for a Tailwind. Um... Or do we just switch into Xerneas and then Geo ourselves? I think I'd prefer to keep Salamence for later on, especially if the Hot is kind of lurking in the back. Um, the only other thing we could do is Mega Evolve Double Edge and just double into the Xerneas here, just to make sure that we're getting damage, because the fake out onto the Necrozma is kind of obvious here. Um, and, and by doing this at least now, um, we will lose Ments. Uh, we'll go for a Tailwind. Um, I'm going to actually call this by saying the Xerneas will protect here. Uh, and Incineroar will try and take down our Necrozma. Huh. Trying to double in. Um, but that's that's still fine. That's still fine because now a double edge will take down the Xerneas. Um, and we can Ultra Burst and go for an Earth Power into that Incineroar. So this kind of works out a little bit better for us. Um, yeah, there's the, the protect on the Xerneas here. Probably save for the lair blitch. Oh, or a crit, just to just to remove it from the equation. And a Sun Seal Strike will now take down the, the Xerneas for sure. Uh, oh. 
Should we just... Uh, is the Sunsteel Strike going to be enough? That's the problem. I'll go for a double edge into Xerneas, um, and we'll go for the Z-move light that burns the sky into Zia. Uh, oh, oh, so this should be a pretty clean game for us here. I think the, the, the pivotal move was obviously that turn where we got the, the tailwind up with Mens. Made so much difference. Uh, good game to my opponent. They have left, but it's fine. Um, so we'll just move on to our next one. Um, yeah, it was actually, I was listening to the Hyper Voice. If, if any of you out there don't listen to the Hyper Voice and like podcasts, uh, Stephen Morioka and uh, Alex Underhill do an amazing VGC podcast. Uh, they have a, a host of amazing guests on there. Um, and uh, they were they were discussing the Lipod and Dustman and Crosma, um, and it's like oh, because that, that, I haven't been on the ladder for a little while, so I'm a little out of touch getting back in, into the swing of things now. And uh, when they were discussing it, it's like oh, mm, that sounds very interesting. So uh, hence the reason why we're here this evening with it. So let's see. Hopefully it works out. Like I say, I think the build is probably needing a little bit of work to be honest like I say I've just thrown it together but um, the the ideas are there um, but this is the, the whole thing about testing isn't it so we got Gothitelle, Groudon, Tapu Koko, Tapu Lele, Metagross and Eveltal uh, very nice call one of my favorite combinations restricted wise um, the Gothitelle's a bit annoying to deal with uh, but we're gonna see Tapu Lele I think lead uh, so, Necrozma and we got Xerneas or Lipod. Lipod might be nice. Um, and Xerneas, and I think probably Mens. Or Mamungus could be good here. Uh, we'll go Mens though. Okay, we're gonna see Metagross and Lily. Uh, I mean. We just Earth Power the Metagross or Sunseal Strike the Lele. Um, we can just foul play the Metagross to be honest. Yeah, get some damage off, that's fine. I'll play and Blast. Bish Bash Bosh, get rid of the Lele, that's good for us. Um, comes in and on. Potentially. I could Ultra Burst. Um, and protect and bring in Ments. I just protect and just bring in Ments, to be honest. I'm not really too scared about the potential um, sub on the Groudon. I think it goes Precipice here. Yeah. Okay. Um, Let's just try and get some damage onto the Groudon with an Earth Power. Um, Mega Evolve and go. Flamethrower onto Metagross. This Flamethrower is coming in quite handy, but our opponent has disconnected. Has a minute to reconnect. So, um, I think we would have been able to close this one up pretty pretty comfortably from here, to be honest. After the uh, the Lele going down there. It doesn't really feel like my opponent's got much to deal with. What we've got left in the back anyway with Xerneas there. So... Uh, we'll add a game, good game to my opponent, uh, unfortunate that they did disconnect, uh, hopefully it's not their Wi-Fi and they have uh, a little more luck if it is going forward, so yeah, we'll move on like I say and find an exit, oh what is this, <laughs> yes, Psyduck and it's definitely got Swift Swim, uh, we've got the Kyogre Lunala combination here, uh, Tapu Lele, uh, Mega Mobile and Togemaru. So we're probably looking like a Trick Room team slash kind of auto speed with Psyduck. Um, okay, Lipod, good. Lele gonna be definitely coming out. Um, we probably want something to help us in Trick Room. Amoongus makes a lot of sense here. Do we want Xerneas? Like, Xerneas is one of those Pokemon that I always like bringing. There's just a lot here that just makes it very difficult to get it going, but at the same time, I'm like, nah, let's just bring it. Let's just bring it, man. Uh, Lunala Lele. Okay. What are we gonna do? 
This is where the Dark Pulse would have come in really useful. Um, I mean, we could Ultra Burst. Uh, Foul Play, Sun Seal Strike. Um, we could just Taunt the Lunala and Sun Seal Strike the Lele. Yeah. I feel like maybe a Trick Room gets set up here. I, I attempted to. No, I'm not going to see that. Okay. No! Oh, that's disappointing. Um, okay. Let's bring in Xerneas. Let's bring in Moongus for Lipod. Let's keep that around for later. And uh, let's go Geomancy. Geomancy man. Um, okay, there's the Moonblast. And what are we going to see this Lunala go for? Psyshock? Yeah. Gotta, gotta do it. Gotta do it, man. Um... Do we switch back in to Lipard and protect Xerneas here? Potentially. Because we're going to see Psy Shocks all over the place, I reckon. Um, it's not really going to help us, though, is it? Uh, I mean, we could just Rage Powder. It's probably better. And um, just go from Moonblast into Lele. Yeah. And uh, Psy Shock will take a move this time, unfortunately. Um, I think we're going to lose this one. Be honest yeah 100% um, well we've got we can't fake out uh, we could fake tears it's just the problem is um, I don't think like foul play the Lunala with a dazzle could potentially work or a moonblast and help the more while protect I don't think it does though they protect white guard gonna lose yeah there's no coming back from this lipod versus the world unfortunately uh good game to my opponent let's try and get some damage off onto the kyogre but never mind <sighs> yeah let's have a look where did we where did we go wrong here uh the taunt i think yeah mm. yeah might have been better ultra bursting and then Double end the, the Lunala really uh, is a bit of an oversight from ourselves, I think. A little bit. Uh, going in a bit deep. Anyway, we've got our next opponent, uh, which is Groudon Dawnwings. Okay. Um, again, not ideal for us, but not the worst as well. Like, Lele is just so prominent. Um, Stacker. I'm going to bring a Moongus because I think if the Trick Room does go up. Mungus does a really nice job here. Again, do we want it? Like, Zern is good here. Uh, it's just that uh, stack attacker that gives us a few issues, but it's not the worst, is it? It's not the worst at all. So we'll go with that and we'll see how we get on. Just wait for our opponent chilling out. Um, yeah. Well, well. I do like this call. Dawn Wings is really nice. And I think Dawn Wings is actually a quite a good call at the minute. Um, it works with Lipod as well quite nicely. And it's probably something I'd maybe prefer um, to Lipod. I don't know. I don't know. Um, see, Dawn Wings is going to be quite difficult to take down right now. Uh, I mean, a foul player will do a hefty chunk of damage. And an Earth Power will do a nice chunk to the stack attacker for sure. Um, maybe it would have been better doubling in there. But maybe not. Super effective. Yeah, there's a Shucker. And there's a Trick Room being set up. Okay. Well, it's not the worst. Because we can get rid of the Dawn Wayne to switch into a Moon this year. Hopefully we don't lose live hard. Like the smart thing would be probably rock slide and double into the, the live hard. It's like or gyrable earth power the live hard. Expecting the necrosma on, on our end to protect or switch out like we're doing. Um
But at least we know the the, the stack attack hasn't got safety goggles, um, and there's no way. Okay, well I don't really mind that too much. Let's see what we've got. Incineroar coming in. That's fine. A little bit of damage onto this Incineroar. Um, we just play our play. Crowd on. I think you've got to fake it out the Amoongus. Do we need Necrozma right now? It would, would be a cow. Uh, is it better to just bring in? Like, you have to fake out a move. Could we just bring in Xerneas, take a bit of damage with Zern, and then go from there? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that's not ideal. Like, the crit there isn't amazing, is it? Um. For another foul player, and we'll just protect Xerneas because it's not. There's no point of just letting it go down. We'll probably lose Lipod here, um, but it would open the door for Among Us to come back in. Um, and we can put the, the Groudon to sleep or the Stacks to sleep. Probably the Groudon, and then bring in the um for Xerneas. Keep Xerneas round four. A little bit later on, and then at least with uh, Duskman, even though it's pretty tight at the minute, we know that we can get the stack attacker, prevent it from setting up another trick room the next turn, um, and at least with the guard on asleep, it's not really doing too much. And I think we'll probably see a gyro ball come out from the stack attacker in this next turn. Maybe a rock slide as well to, to shut down the Amoongus, stop it getting the spore off, but yeah, we just about take it. There's the guard on. Sleeping, sleeping. Okay. Um, we'll spore the stacks, we'll ultra burst, and we'll go for an earth power into Groudon. I think Groudon's probably in range now for an earth power. Um, and I feel like from this point, even though everything's quite low health on our end, with the Amoongus support, we should be able to clean things up. The Incineroar is going to be a bit awkward to deal with once it comes in with Fake Out, but other than that, I think we'll be all right. Um, yeah, the Incineroar is going to be a little bit annoying to deal with for sure. Yeah, there we are. There we are. So, uh, I mean, we've got no Protect on Amoongus. We'll Protect Necrozma. I think the, the worst case scenario here would be the stack attacker waking up and the fake out coming out. Um, the fake out's definitely coming out onto Necrozma. Makes no sense not to. So let's see what, what my opponent's going to do. Like you might protect, you might predict, it'd like the protect on, on Necrozma and not fake that slot out. Oh, um, like I don't mind that really at all. Um, it does mean that we get. Oh, okay. It does wake up, but no trick room. Crazy man. Okay. Uh, we'll get Xerneas in now. Uh, we'll go for the Earth part into the stack attacker. We know the Incineroar can't wake up this next turn because it's got that guaranteed turn of sleep, um, which is quite useful for us. So. We might be able to utilize our Geomancy here. Get rid of the stack attacker. The Dong Wings is gonna pop in right now, but it's such low health, a Moon Blast will take it out, and an Earth Power should take the Incineroar out. So, like I said, even though we're so low health, I think we got ourselves into a position where uh, we were able to utilize the Amoongus um, really, really well. Um, I don't know if this will be Ultra Necrozmic, could be this could scupper our plans if it is uh, because it can potentially take down our Xerneas um, but we'll take down the Incineroar we've still got a move list to come in if that happens I think their best bet would be Ultra Burst well they can't really yeah they can try and take down Anacrosma now nah, but they go for the Xerneas and uh, I think it's locked whatever happens now because we've got the Rage Powder um, which uh, they can't target and across my unfortunately. So we'll rage powder, powder, we'll rage powder, and we'll sun steel strike, and that should be enough. There's the Z move, um, poor Amoongus, but it's putting in all the work we needed to, and uh, 
very tight game, but very good game to my opponent. Uh, we'll give him a we'll give him a good game. And uh, sorry for hurting your rating. Um, but yes, um, so we've probably got room for one more battle, my friends, and uh, then we'll call it a day. But I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Like I say, it was just a loose end. I wanted to try this this team out, so it was um, just something I wanted to uh, to to bring in and show you guys and and hear your thoughts and uh, see if this is something you'd be interested in seeing a little more of a refined variation uh, on on the channel but something along these lines uh, so we've got another familiar team i think this finished uh, top four at the sheffield regionals and i do apologize i can't remember the the, the person's name off the top of my head but uh, very interesting team dial gaho incineroar landers theory Tabufini and Venusaur. I believe Venusaur is mega on this team as well. Um, ah. Again and again, we're seeing that the whole oh, is a bit of a problem. So that's something I would definitely look at going forward. Um, I'm going to bring salad. Salad? Yeah, definitely want Salamence, I think. Um, the Dialga is going to be a re really obnoxious to deal with. Uh, I think I'll bring Lipod Xerneas. I might just like try and um, I'll just blow through this team if I can get a Geomancy up uh, and then we'll go on a Necrozma and Salamence. I'm not bringing Finny either so that's definitely a slot I can look at um, utilising a little bit better I think. Fake out the Finny or Geomancy. Hopefully we don't say Raw in the in thinner Raw. Not many players are running it now and I say that and this is the game where we'll see it. Um, but it doesn't seem to be used as much as it used to be. Just trading fake outs here. Uh, what's the type of thing he got? Has it got haze or has it got light screen? That's the question. Um, we could just go taunt and geomancy here though, so um, just to get around whatever it's trying to do and we'll get our geo up. And um, uh, nature's madness, flare blitz, how are you turn? Okay. I don't mind this too much. Ho-ho coming in. What's a fake? Uh, there's a Foul play. Let's go foul play into the hole oh, and just protect here. Um, foul play should do a decent chunk of damage. Uh, uh, we're going to see a, a Tailwind, maybe? Okay, if Lipod can stick around this turn. Um, oh, that's huge for us now, uh, uh, Fake Tears. And uh, Moonblast will be enough to get the hole. Oh. Oh, it's the wrong way around. It's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> That's what's wrong with it. It's all gone. Pete Tong. Um, okay, well, Lipod sticks around for a little bit longer. Um, really? It's not ideal. Let's bring in... Uh, let's try and fake tears the Finny. We'll protect... Uh, there's the incineral coming in. Makes sense. If we lose Lipod here, we're screwed here. Yeah, because now we can't protect. Ah, Necrozma. Um, we've got to double into the Finny, I think. Uh, Ultra Burst and go for a Photon Geyser. I think we've lost this one. Oh, no fake out though. So we might actually be able to. Like, the Icy Wind's the one thing that does give me a few problems but uh, okay I think the, the fake out there would have been better now we're gonna see fake out come in now um okay let's tailwind and protect Ultra Necrozma fake out this time let's tailwind tailwind yeah matching matching um I'm just going to hyper voice and I'm going to go for the Z move into the hole. Just to get rid of it. It's going to be Dialga is the last one. Hopefully we don't lose Necrozma right now. No, it's Z move Incineroar! Yeah, we're done. Dialga. Hello Dialga. Unless it's Ven <laughs> Oh, it's Venusaur! <laughs> oh! Uh, we could actually win this one. Uh, double Legend of Venusaur will be enough. We've got to worry about Malicious Moves out of Darkest Lariat from the Incineroar. Does the Venusaur protect though now? I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll Double Edge it to see. Because the Hyper Voice isn't going to take it out. 
double edge isn't either. Man, that's a bulky, bulky. Uh, look at that. Venusaur taking that like a champ. We are intimidated, of course, but I mean, that is that is some nice bulk there. So, very good example of how that team can operate. Good game. And uh, lots of issues there for us, I think, to, to consider taking this team forward. But, uh, like I say, that'll be the last one for today, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a pleasure, as always, just chatting. And uh, I'll see you again soon. I'll make some changes to this team. And in the next one, we'll, uh, we'll take this concept a little bit further and see where we can take it um just to make it a little bit more solid against a few of the the more uh threatening things that we've faced especially in this episode so until next time my friends take care and bye bye